Should you do a master during a pandemic year? Hi guys, this is Jaber. I'm a PhD student at University College London. The short answer is yes, but I'm going to give you five reasons why you should continue planning your masters even during the pandemic year and beyond. The first reason is online teaching is pretty amazing. It is quite amazing how we have transitioned from complete face-to-face -face lectures to online teaching in just a few months. Online teaching has many benefits over face-to-face -face teaching, such as it being completely recorded, interactive, and also you get to be in the comfort of your own seat at home and you don't have to wake up earlier and travel to your lectures. So that's great. Online lectures are just as good as face-to-face -face lectures in terms of teaching material but you get added benefits of it being digital, of it being able to share on slides, of it being able to record, and it gives you that freedom of being able to be in your own house, by the comfort of your own house, your own food, your own toilets, while watching the lecture. The second reason why you would want to do a master's during a pandemic year is the fact that most things are actually closed during the pandemic year. So don't put your life on hold, do a master's, in that one year where the world is trying to recuperate, trying to fix itself, you can get a master's and be one step higher in the terms of employability. Realistically, what kind of job experience are you going to get during the pandemic year? Very difficult. So doing a master's is a good utilization and investment of that one year. Number three is assessments. During the pandemic year, many universities are more lenient because of the circumstances that the coronavirus has put upon you. This means that during this year, you may perform higher than if you were on a non-pandemic year. In fact, it is quite likely that after the pandemic, the university life will become harder. So why not capitalize and do your master's during this year and not worry about the fact that the pandemic year will be a waste year to do your masters. Reason number four, because your lecturers, your teachers, your professors are all at home and have more time because they can't spend time on holidays and out of the office, they are more likely to respond to your emails quicker and faster. This means you have assessment feedback much quicker. Well, in theory anyway, but if you email one of your professors or your lecturers, they are more likely to actually respond than on a non-pandemic year. Number five is you can be completely remote this year. Some of you are lucky enough to have left the country before the stay at home order was done. This means you could be enjoying the great sunshine of somewhere like Greece, while also having access to the internet and your laptop, meaning you can be enrolled to a great university across the pond or across the world and still be able to complete all lectures and tasks from the comfort of your own holiday. Remote work is amazing. Typically, university students have to be on a certain location, such as London if you're at UCL or Harvard, you know, Massachusetts. It means doing a master's during the pandemic year gives you the freedom to roam around within restriction limits. But if you have already planned to go back home say you're from china you could be doing the whole degree from china thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful make sure you like and subscribe and also comment down below and as always thank you for watching this video